and now to some developing news in the Caribbean. Hundreds of thousands of people in Puerto Rico still without power after Hurricane Ernesto brought heavy flooding and strong winds uh, to part of the island there. Yeah. Let's get right to Channel 3's Roger Susannan at the first alert desk with the latest on Ernesto's path. Good morning. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Caitlin. You know, this category one storm has left a huge mess behind already. Cleanup just underway this morning. Ernesto knocked down trees and left entire neighborhoods in the dark and underwater. Get this right now, nearly one million people in Puerto Rico are waking up without power. Get this, that's about two thirds of the entire population of the island. Just incredible. But some help could be on the way soon, thanks in part to people right here in Connecticut. More than 300,000 Puerto Ricans do live in our state, which makes Connecticut one of the largest Puerto Rican population centers in the United States. And local community groups say they already have relief funding ready to send to the island, along with the necessities like water and generators been um, in contact with, the, with the, some agency there just to be ready. We will use that moment to, to send a message to the people that live here in the state that Puerto Rico needs help and how we could come together and help out. People in Connecticut are always ready to help and as Ernesto makes it its way through the Atlantic Ocean, forecasters say it could bring nearly eight foot waves to parts of the Northeast. Live at the First Alert Desk, I'm Roger Susanna Scott.